that he's being active RFID is related to the value of hybrid RFID systems. Joining us today to speak about that is Tom O'Boyle, director of RFID at Barcoding Inc. Tom, welcome. Thank you, Russell. Tom, you know, when we talk about RFID, there are any number of technologies that might fit under that umbrella, if you will. But two of the ones that we hear the most about are active RFID and passive RFID. But let's define our terms. Let's, uh, let's distinguish the difference between the two. What would you say? Sure. Well, uh, they are very big and broad as far as the umbrella goes for RFID. The two main technologies are active and passive. In an active system, an active RFID tag actually is a transmitter. It, it has a battery in it, and it literally beacons or sends its signal out um, at a rate depending upon the tag on how it's programmed. So, as an example, we would actually have an identifier number that's built into that tag. So as that tag is transmitting its, its beacon or its data, there's receivers that are mounted throughout the facility. Those receivers basically are picking up those signals and being able to determine then where the uh, receiver is actually, uh, where the tag is actually located within the receiver, within the receiving system. Passive is a little different. Passive technology is actually utilizing tags that do not have a battery and the tags actually don't transmit. Those, those tags actually um, reflect the energy backwards. So, so we have a passive reader that's mounted and that reader transmits. That tag actually takes that energy, charges itself, and responds back with its number. So the great part about that is that we now can put those readers in places wherever we want to get those read events. And the cost of the tags, of course, are always a little bit less. Well, now that we've established then the difference between the two, established our terms here, let's talk about the different cases where one or the other would apply. So cases then where active RFID is something that you want to employ, what might they be? Sure. So some of the best use cases for our active RFID is related to high cost, high value assets that are out in a big, large, wide monitoring system. So as an example, you could have a three, three million square foot facility that you want to put large uh, tags on large equipment that needs to get tracked. So it would, might take you weeks to try and find that piece of equipment. With an active tag on it, we can have this wide monitoring system and be able to literally pinpoint if, with an XY coordinate within 10 feet where that tag is. So a typical use case would be in industrial applications. It would also be in hospitals. So hospitals use active RFID systems con consistently because they want to find as quickly as possible where a piece is without having to um, figure out which floor it was last seen on. They want to go right and pinpoint to the map where it was at. Mm -hmm. I should think in a hospital setting, they certainly don't want to waste any, any time either. They want to go directly to it. Time is critical, yes. Let's talk about passive uh, situations and passive technology then. What are the cases where that is something that you're going to want to use or it would be more appropriate? Yeah, in the passive world, it really the use cases are related to more supply chain operations. So if you think in terms of uh, tracking cases or items out on a shelf floor or in through a logistics uh, process. So we see use cases as an example, receiving applications where, uh, in fact, I was just at a warehouse where we're literally bringing pallets of goods in. We're able to read each carton and identify what that carton was and identify whether they've been able to receive 100% of those items that were expected or not without anybody having to stop or scan. So, so passive technologies are really related to a lot of supply chain. A big part of that is, is because of the cost of the tags, they become expendable or consumable items because they don't have a battery in it. They are literally able to flow with the, uh, with the product packaging. And clearly the cost of those uh, has gone down considerably over the years, so it makes it ideal for that kind of setting as well. Yeah, we've actually seen over the last five years, costs probably have gone down by about 25 to 30% on average. Now, undoubtedly, there are situations where both types of uh, technology will apply, both the passive and the active is going to be uh, make a, a, for a desirable uh, operating system. What might they be? Sure, so we find that customers end up ha having the need for actually both technologies within uh, their existing infrastructure. And in the past, what we'd have to do is we'd literally have to um, 
develop two different systems and then tie those two different systems into their ERP or WMS. Nowadays, what we're able to do is we're able to define literally one system, and that one system will allow us to actually feed active tag read events in and passive tag read events in. But that one system then has one interface into the customer's ERP system. What that allows is really some, some phenomenal results because what we can do is we can start tracking large assets with active and we can marry small assets or parts with that active tag. So we can actually, as the small tags are moving along, we can know where they're at, and then we can tie them in with the larger piece of equipment and marry them back up together again and have one infrastructure feed back into the customer. All right, now this is where we really get to the value proposition of these hybrid systems. So walk us through that with some detail and, and, and outline for us, if you will, uh, give us a laundry list, if you will, of the benefits to be derived. Yep, so, so, so the benefits in, in the hybrid system has typically been applied to where we're trying to use both technologies. And when we are using those technologies, our interface into the customer system, number one, is, is really key. What they're able to now look at, they're able to, to actually come up on their computer system, look for an asset, and literally get a, a standard report out that shows both passive and active on the same exact report. Before that was not uh, available to us in the past, so that was that was probably one of our largest benefits. Our second benefit is really related to uh, future proofing your your operation. So now that we've got an infrastructure that can read active tags and an infrastructure that can read passive tags, you can now start expanding your use cases across, and you don't have to bring in another operation, bring in another systems integration operation, try and figure out where do we want, how, which passive do we want, which active systems do we want. It's already built in, you're ready to go. So customers, what we find is they start out with maybe one or two use cases, and then after about a year, year and a half, we're up to about six or seven different use cases that they've applied it to, without having to add infrastructure and without having to add any software and at the same time covering all the bases. Thomas is valuable information and I thank you so very much for finding time in your day to sit down and meet with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Russell. That was Tom O'Boyle, Barcoding Inc. and speaking with us today about the value of hybrid RFID systems. Thank you for watching.